Well, one of the things I learned fairly quickly after being a pop critic was you're not just reviewing a debut band's first album or first show. When you look at a band, you're thinking how good are they going to be an album from now or two albums from now? Where can they lead you? What can they tell you? What can you gain from this band? Is this a long journey or just a one-hit wonder? And when I saw you 2 for the first time at the Country Club in Reseda, I thought this was a band that had a huge future ahead of itself. They could, it would have a long way to grow. And I sat down with Bono shortly after that show, and he wanted to go to Bob's Big Boy uh, in Toluca Lake because he'd heard about c car hops and things in California. And he had this curiosity about American culture, but mostly he was curious about rock stars. He wanted to hear stories. He wanted to, he made a t I, I met, you met John Lennon, you met Bob Dylan, you met Elvis Presley, you, you tell me about him. You met Bruce Springsteen, tell me about him. And I thought, you know, this in, f the first couple interviews, it went on the same kind of way. Then gradually I realized, though, that he wasn't just a fan. He was, he wanted to know about these people. He wanted to learn, again, some of the human side of them. Because I think he, he knew that he had read all about rock history and he knew the dangers, the temptations, the, the ways people, the self-destructiveness. He wanted to find out how you keep on an even keel, how you make yourself uh, a, a sane human being in the midst of all this acclaim and attention. Because uh, I think he had a sense that he was going somewhere. I think there was a sense of ambition and destiny in him that was really remarkable. And it, increasingly over the years, we would talk about other artists and how they, and then he would, I, would, I would learn from him how he was, what things he was doing to keep himself sane. Uh, and, he, and the thing that's often lost in Bono is some people think he's pompous or pretentious and stuff because he has these ideals about idealism and faith and stuff. Uh, and when, it, when he was at the height of the campaign against, to try to get governments to forget the debt of third world countries, helping people and getting more medicine, I said, Bono, aren't you worried that people are going to get bored with this and, and they're going to start, they're going to turn against you and, for, and even turn against you too because of all of this publicity you're getting. And he, he looked at me, leaned across the table, he says, you know what? I'm bored with Bono, and I am Bono. So there was that great sense of humor about him that really does keep his music having a human quality. It doesn't become stiff and artificial and calculated. There's the, there's the human quality. Whenever any artist can keep their music to the human quality, that's what makes it work.